It is a 2015 Peterbilt made by Fitzgerald. It has a Detroit 660 uh, engine in it. It's, uh, I personally changed the steering wheel in it. I put a Legacy Low seat in it. I put uh, different pedals in it and uh, different air plungers in it just to kind of customize it up. Otherwise, everything else is the way it was when we got it. Uh, my boss bought it for me back in January of this year, 2017. Um, it is a 15, but it was used by Fitzgerald as a show truck for them. And it came up for sale and my boss loved the truck, so he bought it. The lights underneath I had swapped out. I had changed them. They were just the regular orange lights. I put uh, had LED lights put in. I have seven different colors underneath that light, and I have the truck's dual revolution lights across the back of the sleeper. There are two colors, blue and red. Basically, I'm a dry van hauler. Uh, basically, anything in the dry van. Uh, food products, I haul aluminum coils, small, like five to 700 pound coils. Um, that's a lot of what I do. Um, we do a lot of broker loads. Just basically anything you can fit in a van, we'll haul it. I have been driving now 21 years. My family from Alabama, that's all I did was drive trucks or they worked in mills and my uncles all did that. They would take me when I was a little kid and basically that's where my love of trucking grew from. I turned 21, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life. I waited till I was 22. Basically I said, well, it's now or never. I just did it just to see and I was young enough and I said, well, if I don't like it, I have time to do something else with my life. But. 21 years later, I'm still driving a truck. I've done local, I've done over the road, I've done regional, I've done pretty much everything. I pulled a tanker for five years, I pulled doubles for three years. Uh, I've been working for Mr. Nelson now for a year. Taking my wife, when I was still pulling a tanker, I took my wife with me. We went to British Columbia, Williams Lake, British Columbia, on a run up there. We basically went about an hour south of the Alaskan border up in British Columbia. And basically it was like five days out there and five days back across the northern America, you know. I've been a member of Shaitan Large Cars now for five years. My first actual event was a truck show just like this. The reason why I like the club so much is because of the brotherhood, the friends that you make. You see a lot of people on the road and they just pass each other, don't really care, but with us, you know, we have our own private Facebook page. We try to link up with other guys if we're in their area or they're in our area. We meet up, have dinner, hang out. I've had guys come stay at my house. I had one guy stay with me a week while his truck was broke down, so he didn't have to pay for a hotel for the week. Um, we have had guys come by our house just to stop by for dinner, to do their laundry, take a shower, and leave. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you don't get just being a road driver with no friends anywhere or anything like that. So we kind of, that's what kind of drew me to the club was the brotherhood, the closeness. My first show, we did it for a police officer who had a heart attack on the job. And it's kind of grown from there. Uh, each year is a little bit bigger, a little bit better. And my wife, she was in the military for 20 years, so she gets the camaraderie also. She gets, she understands it because of what she went through being in the military. So she gets, so it's not like a real hard sell for her either. Even members that have left the club, you're still friends with them. And I've had guys that I've seen on the road that were members and, you know, we'll still talk and, have dinner together, help each other out if we're broke down or something. Or I mean, We're all out here doing the same job. We might as well have fun doing it and be around people that enjoy it. And having a cool truck is part of it and you know, get, get more out of it.